Well, moving over to Kenya now, the Kenyan government on Tuesday announced that 12 needy Kenyan Premier League clubs are set to receive a monthly stipend of 100 US dollars. That's a Kenyan shilling worth 10,000 for the next two months, with the possibility of an extension to three in a bid to aid them cushion from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, Sports Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohamed says they picked 12 needy clubs from the 18-team league to kickstart the process, which will be reviewed for any case of improvement. Now, we have Babu Biko uh, joining us all the way from Kenya. How are you doing, Babu? I'm very fine, thank you. Mm, good to How have you? you with us again. Good to be here. The Liverpool fan looking forward to the league starting and, uh, of course, clinching the league title. Yes, very much so. I can't wait for June 17th. All right, let's talk about what's happening in Kenya. I hear that the government is um, releasing funds for about 12 clubs. What that, can you put us up to speed with what's going on? Yeah, um, so uh, this week uh, it was announced that finally, actually, this move didn't come out of philanthropy. This uh, has been for a lot of sports people, especially in the Kenyan Premier League, have really called for the government to uh, put uh, aside some funds to sort of also help our sports people during this time. And uh, when we heard that the CS uh, Amina Mohammed is coming to and uh, has a you know has a press conference to you know announce that uh, these people will be getting some salary, we were really excited. But then when we heard about the figure, we wondered. How would a hundred US dollars? I'm not saying it's little money, and of course it does. Uh, if you put it in context, it's a lot of money. But for sports people in Kenya, and this also goes back to the previous guest uh, who has just been there. In this country, a lot of your parents will tell you that football does not pay, and this has gone. This has actually been proven by our government. We have funds for police, we have funds for our healthcare people, but our sports people, since the league has been cancelled, everything has been cancelled, they are actually struggling to make ends meet. In this country, you must have at least two or three more jobs and play football professionally. We've had a lot of sagas where uh, even our own champions, Gormahia, when they're playing the African Champions League or the Confederations Cup, they struggle to find accommodation to sleep in and our very own government, our very own sports docket, still expects them to beat a team like USM Algier, to beat a team like TP Mazembe. And we still have a long way to go. Suggested uh, the government, uh, what, what should they have done uh, in a situation like this? Because when you talk about the money, approximately in our own Naira, it's about 36,000 Naira, which, of course, uh, and, and they said it should last for about two months. What do you think they should have done to solve this? Should they have been First of all, I think, I think they should have, they, once the pandemic hit a couple of weeks ago, I think 10 weeks ago, when, they, when we canceled the Kenyan Premier League, that is the very first time that they should have come in and put some actions. We've had a lot of mismanagement. We, we want to say that they should have given them a bigger statement, but there is a lot of mismanagement such that a lot of corporate entities like Safaricom, Bidco, are removing themselves out of sponsoring teams because... They do not see where the money is coming from. And let me tell you something that is a fun fact. Do you know that if you win the Kenyan Premier League, like Gormahia have done, there is absolutely no prize money being given to you. Wow. You'll get a cup, you'll get a medal, but there's no prize money. So how do you expect these clubs to sustain themselves? Gormahia and AFC Leopards have ever protested that they do not have sponsors. They, they're struggling to uh, fuel the buses. They're struggling to find transport for the players. They're and... This begins with CS Amina Mohammed and even the previous CS uh, Rashid. Put people who actually understand sports. I'm not saying that Amina Mohammed is incompetent, but Amina Mohammed was doing a very good job when she was the Minister for Foreign Affairs. Put somebody who has some experience in sports, somebody who has been in sports, to help these people. Otherwise, you will be hit with political bureaucracy of people who think to themselves, sports is not important. Mm. And then they end up giving them you know, that 6,000 Naira. And comparatively, you, um, I was listening to the previous guest who was saying there are women who are earning up to 200,000 Naira, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. And that is still little money. So imagine getting that 6,000 Naira. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's, that's such a sad situation. Now, about the update on the league, is there any date been announced that the league will resume yet? Uh, so far, we've not had uh, any update. Everybody has gone silent. The court battles between Chemile Sugar and uh, KPL continue to go on. Mm. Uh, Nick Mwendwa has, uh, has gone ghost silence uh, on Twitter since announcing uh, 
the Gormahia uh, victory. Mm. So again, we are still in limbo. We wait. Uh, hopefully, I don't think the league will, will continue this season. I think we'll just have to start a new season from the mm. Wow. Uh, such a sad situation over there in Kenya. But we would like to thank you very much for speaking with us once again. You're welcome. Thank oh. you so much. All right. Do enjoy the rest of your day.